worst experience that has ever, ever happened to me. And that particular night, I was absolutely petrified. Because I honestly thought he was going to come in and kill us. I still can't get it out of my mind. The Red Escort registration number, Hotel 701, Foxtrot Hotel, Alpha, confirmed stolen from the Sandwell and Dudley Railway Station car park in the West Midlands yesterday. Did you see the car being abandoned a few hundred yards from Morrison's outside Texas home care? David Eves, pointing guns at children, at people shopping, it's more what you expect from terrorism than from an ordinary crime. Well, armed robbery is not all that common, but in this case, they've got sawn-off shotguns, they were firing the shotguns into the wall, threatening women and children. It's a very nasty job. Have you ever seen anything like it? Uh, no, I haven't. Do you think there's a possibility if anybody in the store had made a wrong move, the guy would have discharged the gun at them? I mean, for all intents and purposes, it looks as though he might. Both men were very agitated, and I've no doubt if they'd been approached, they would, some, they would certainly have shot someone. Okay, so, so your best bet, presumably, is that there's, there's going to be somebody in the underworld, somebody who knows who did this, and frankly, they're not going to stomach this sort of behaviour. Somebody out there knows who's done this, and Security Corps have put up a substantial reward to, uh, for information leading to a conviction for this job. How can other people help? I mean, obviously, there were a lot of appeals within the body of that film. What happened at the end? I mean, they, they dumped the car a couple of hundred yards away from, from Morrison's. What did they do then? Do you know? They ran across Riversway at Preston. Now, they either got into another vehicle or what have you. If anybody saw them running or saw them getting into another vehicle, then obviously we'd like to speak to them, people, speak to them. OK, and obviously you want to know about that car, H701FHA. Not where it is now, but that was stolen on the 17th and then used on the robbery on Friday the 18th, so somewhere that was kept overnight. Somebody may have seen it being taken from the uh, Dudley Railway Station, or for the 24 hours it's been missing prior to the robbery, we'd like to know where it was, and if anybody could help us, then we'd be glad to speak to them. Perhaps the most important clue, who knows, it was this, this chap, fairly thin face with a moustache, was seen in Morrison's at, at lunchtime. He was seen, he wasn't uh, shopping, he was certainly watching the cash office. So he needs to be eliminate, eliminated from our inquiries, so we need to trace him. But he might not have been one of the robbers? We don't know at this stage, it's just somebody that was uh, acting suspiciously and we need to speak to him. OK, well his description, there he is, he's about 5 foot 10 and uh, his hair, as you can see, is dark but it's going grey and he's a fairly average build, I think. If you can help in any way with this case, uh, here's the number, it's a free call number in the studio, 0500 600 600. Or you can ring Preston Police Station Direct, that's 0772. 617-771-0772-617-771. Well, we're getting um, not so much fast and furious, but slow and steady volume of calls today. I've been taking notes around the place. Uh, we've um, been getting some calls on the Derek Kiley murder. Several viewers have rung, um, some with suggestions as to the identity of the Asian man who was seen coming from his flat on the 2nd of January, and some suggestions as to the watch and where that might have been seen for sale. Those are being followed up at the moment. On the photo call cases, Keith Roger Henry, known mostly as Roger, two people think they may have seen him. One of those is today. And Thomas Pedden, too. Again, somebody thinks they've seen him today. And two viewers have reported seeing the Mr. and Mrs. McAllister in the West Country somewhere. So, uh, so far, so good. We're um, still taking them. And uh, once again, here now with uh, this month's incident desk, our Superintendent David Hatcher and Detective Constable Jackie Hames. If you work in the City of London, you may recognise this man. On Friday the 19th of November at around 2.30pm, he was outside the Three Crowns pub in Old Jewry, reporting to be collecting money for charity. Commander Hugh Moore of the City of London Police was on duty that afternoon and tried to arrest the man who attacked him and knocked him to the ground. Commander Moore never recovered from his injuries. He died of a heart attack two weeks later. The man is white, between 20 and 30, 5 foot 8 to 5 foot 10, with dark brown greasy hair in a ponytail. We believe he had a mark above his upper lip and may have been wearing hoop earrings. If you know who he is, please ring the City of London Police on 071 601 2222. That's 071 601 2222. Do you recognise this man? He was part of a gang who held up an armour guard van in Nottingham city centre on Tuesday the 8th of March. The attack took place here in Woolerton Street at 10 to 3. It was busy and the town was crowded with shoppers. One of the men forced the driver and the guard to drive to a nearby bowls club while the other two followed in a stolen Ford Granada. 
However, when they reached the club, the robbers were foiled by the van's security system and fled empty-handed. The robber is distinctive, wearing a pork pie hat. He's 35 to 40, 5 foot 10, slim build, with a tanned complexion. If you recognise him or can help in any way, there is a reward. The Nottinghamshire Police have set up a special free phone number at their headquarters, 0800 626 999. That's 0800 626 999. Our colleagues in London need your help to solve the murder of 51-year-old Barry Stubbings. Mr Stubbings was a successful stockbroker. Since his death, it's been discovered that he was gay. He sometimes used the names Tony Andrews and Tony Pro Council. Barry Stubbins's body was found at his flat in Spitalfields, East London. We believe he was killed between midnight the 29th of March and 3 a.m. the next morning. We know earlier that day he travelled to Leicester by train. It's possible that you saw him or spoke to him. If so, we'd like to hear from you. At about midnight, this man was seen outside the block of flats where Mr Stubbings lived. He's in his mid-forties, around five foot seven, average build with a greying beard. He was wearing a suit, white shirt and dark tie. Later, just around the corner, this man was buying tea from a stall in Commercial Road. He's between 40 and 50, five foot nine, average build with dark hair greying at the temples. A number of items were stolen from the flat, including a weekend bag like this. Perhaps you know someone who acquired a Samsonite bag around the time of the murder. If you recognise either of these men, or can help in any way, please call the incident room on 071 488 6664. Or, if you prefer, you can call Gallup, the Gay London Policing, on 071 233 0854. Perhaps you recognise this man. He disguised himself as a security guard to carry out two armed robberies on a security express van in Middlesex. The most recent attack happened on Friday morning, the 28th of January, when the van was making a delivery in Hayes. The robber threatened the guard with a knife similar to this before fleeing with the cash. It's a distinctive Bowie-style hunting knife with a black handle and a six-inch serrated blade. The robber fled in a burgundy Ford Sierra, registration C638WLY. The car had been stolen on the 12th of January from George Street Car Park in Uxbridge. If you saw the vehicle between then and the day of the robbery, the 28th of January, you might have valuable information. The robber is between 35 and 40, about six foot tall, of stocky build, with dark hair and glasses. If you can help in any way, please call the Metropolitan Police on 081 569 1212. That's 081 569 1212. And here's our number, 0500 600 600. It's a free call number. And we've almost 30 lines here, 0500 600 600. Incidentally, you may have read about this man in the last few days. He's a convicted murderer, John Massey. He escaped on Monday from prison officers who were escorting him. Police warn he may be dangerous. He's 46, 5 foot 10, slim, with dark hair that's going grey. Please call us if you've seen him. Or you can ring Kentish Town CID on 081 733 6031. Well, our next case is an indiscriminate, futile murder. It's the kind of crime that happens, luckily, very rarely, but that's no consolation for the victim's family and friends. Shirley Leach was a pensioner. She lived in Greater Manchester, and our reconstruction begins in the small hours of Friday, the 7th of January, in Berry Town Centre. Yeah, it's a good night down there on a Thursday. That's not bad. The mates gone home? Yeah, they got a cab earlier. I'm stuffed. Here, have you got any fags left? Yeah, just the one. We'll share it. I'll have to go to the loo first, then. Is there a bog round here? Yeah, there's one in the bus station. Come with us. It's a bit dark. The couple walked to the toilets at the Berry Interchange, the town's central bus depot. Is it? Yeah, okay, I'll be right over. 
Okay, John, what we've got? It looks like a bum one. There's a female in the toilets. 